Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your 30 minute continuous cardio low impact workout. What you're going to need today is a mat, and then you'll also need a bench, but if you don't have a bench, you can replace this with a stool or a chair, just make sure it's nice and sturdy. And if you are using a chair or a stool, I would definitely have it up against a wall so it doesn't tilt over on you. Here's today's format. We have 30 exercises. Every exercise will be performed for one minute. Once you hear that ding, we've moved on. This workout will progress. So we're gonna start with a nice dynamic warm up on the mat, and then it will slowly start to creep up, creep up on you. This is continuous, so there are no built-in breaks. However, if you need a break, take it. Whenever you feel like you need a break, hit pause or just rest pause, and then meet me back in that set. Since every exercise is time today, you and I do not have to go at the same speed. You and I are different, so find a pace, a tempo, that is challenging but manageable for you. We're here for 30 minutes. All right, y'all, grab all your stuff, something for hydration and possibly a towel. Go ahead, meet me on your mat, and let's get to work. Go ahead and meet me on your mat into this 90-90 position. We're gonna work on some internal rotation of the hips. This is our dynamic warm-up. This workout builds. So we're here. I want you to reach up and over towards that back hip. Feel a nice deep stretch in, the, uh, in that hip. And then we're going to take it to the other side. Same thing. So this is where we're starting. This is our warm-up. Let's go. In three, two, and one, let's begin. Reach up and over towards that back leg and then take it to the other side, reach up and over. In 10 seconds, we continue this movement, but we're just going to reach straight ahead. We'll take it to this side in three, two, and one. So take it to the other side, and now reach towards that back hip. Both hands, bring it back, and then rotate other side. Reach towards that back leg, both hands reach. Bring it back in, other side. Go at your own pace. In 10 seconds, we'll go to a downward facing dog into a pigeon. So we're now going to work on external rotation of the hips in three, two, and one. Go ahead, take both legs, take both legs uh, equally together. Hips go up and back. Right leg goes up. Bring it to a nice little pigeon stretch. Press through the hands and then other side. Left leg goes up. Knee towards left knee towards that left wrist and just work on opening. If needed, if this is too much to start, you can bring your hands to this incline and that'll uh, just reduce the range of motion a little bit. We'll hold that downward facing dog. Let's go. Now bring your heels and toes out in this downward facing dog. Walk the hands in. Reach up so you're in an iso sumo squat. Walk the hands back out to a plank for one second. Back into that downward dog. Walk the hands back in. Iso squat. Walk it out. Hips up. Walk it in. Chest up. I can't control myself because it's very dark. 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 I can't control myself because it's
things for myself, then clouds you very does. I can't control myself, then clouds you very does. I can't control myself, then clouds you very does. I can't control myself, that's fair, da, da, da. I can't control myself, that's fair, da, da, da. I can't control myself, that's fair, da, da. Next up, we have a walk-in plank sumo squat. We'll hold this plank and walk it in. Let's go. It's right, left, lift. Place the hands back down. Next time, go left, right, then lift. Option here would be to take your hands to the bench and prefer, perform the same exact movement. You're just reducing the angle, and that's gonna take some, take some of the resistance off. This is our final exercise of our warm up, and then we start to, to amp it up a notch. Next up, we have step ups, left leg. So the next three exercises will be all on the left leg. It's going to burn. Let's go ahead, bring it up. Step the left foot on your bench. Tap the right, bring it down. So you're really using your glute, using your, your leg to drive you up. Keep your core tight. Once you got it, you can start to pick up the tempo. Up to you, this is your workout. Next exercise, we're just adding to this. So we'll add the right knee in towards the chest. Keep that pelvis and spine neutral. Let's go, just add that knee in. Final exercise on this left side. We'll step up and then do a reverse lunge. Follow my lead in three, two, and one. Step up with the left, right foot goes down, lunge back with left, left foot goes on. So the right foot is forward during that lunge. So this is targeting left side. This is really hitting your right. Once you have it, you can pick it up, go at your own pace. You can go quicker than me. You can go slower than me. This is totally up to you. You control the intensity of this workout. In 10 seconds, we take those last three exercises and we're going to perform it on the other side. We gotta equal it out in three, two, and one. Just step up with the right. You can start to slow it down. Step up with the right, left foot goes all the way down, plant. Once you have it, you can pick up the tempo if you want.
next exercise, we just add on. We'll drive that left knee in towards the chest. Try to keep your spine and pelvis neutral. Let's go. So just drive that left knee in. Next up, we add on. Final exercise on this side, that's unilateral focused. We're just gonna add that lunge on the way back. In three, two, and one. So step back with the right. Right foot drives up, knee in. Left foot stays in forward as that glute drives you up. Alternating step ups are next. We'll go right, left, right, left, then left, right, left, right. And three, two, and one. So start right, left, then left, right. So once you get the hang of it, tap, left, right, tap. You can start to pick it up. Next up, we have two knee ends to two punches. We go in three, two, and one. So take those knees in, then punch. Knee in, then punch. Next up, we have side repeaters. We'll hold one side, work on that core. In three, two, hold right side and just drive it in. Add that little twist. Core stays tight throughout. I know that standing leg is on fire, y'all. Stay with me. Maintain this tempo 20 seconds and then we hit the other side. I 
Other side, and three, and two, and one. Get right into it. Next up, two punches straight ahead, and then two hooks from the side. And three, two, and one. Hands stay up, punch it from the side. Straight forward, and then hook, good. So if you need a little breather, this would be it. Kind of slow down the tempo. You can even grab a drink of water at this point if you want, by all means. If you wanna grab that drink, grab it. But ultimately, you control the tempo. You control the intensity right here. So if you're right here, if you need a break, that's fine. If you wanna keep going, put some power behind it. Front kicks are next. And three, and two, and one. Core stays tight. Kick, start low. Kick low, get that down first. Keep your spine neutral and that deep core, your transverse abdominal kicked on, all right? Everyone's range of motion will be different. If you find kicking low is a, is a breeze, go a little higher. In 10 seconds, we switch it up to back kicks. We'll have a slight lean inward to keep our balance. And three, and two, and one. So slight lean inward, and then just kick. Just give you a different view this time. So maintain that slight hip hinge, neutral spine, and then keep your core turned on throughout to help stabilize. If you start to feel it in your low back, we need to increase the demand from the front and that will provide more balance in the back. Inchworms are next. We go in three, in two, and one. Wow, shake it out. Bend the knees. We're walking it out. We did a little variation in the warm up. This time we just hold that high plank, then we walk it back in. Good. Walk it out, hold for a second, then walk it back in. If needed, release the knees at the bottom and that will reduce the resistance on the entire body, including your wrist. Wrist modifications, that would be great, would be to uh, grab a hold of dumbbells at the end to keep your wrist in a neutral position, or you can place a small towel roll underneath your wrist to just kind of help with that. We're only here for a couple exercises, so I know you can do this. Stay strong. We 
hold at the bottom. In three, two, mountain climbers. It's three, two, hold for two. Three, two, hold for two. Now, if needed, modification, come to the bench. That's going to reduce your lever and reduce the resistance that you're carrying right now. Any wrist issues, you can grab a hold of some dumbbells, keeping the wrist in a neutral position. Or, like I said earlier, towel roll underneath the palm, and that will alleviate some pressure as well. Up, we have a push up to a down dog reach. You can do this push up on or off the knees. In three, two, and one. Push up, hips go back. Pause here, reach underneath, enjoy that little stretch, and then it's right back into that high plank. Push up, hips go up and back, and then reach to the side. Here's what the modification would look like on your knees. And then hips up, you do not have to twist. Last rep, and then we go to a side shuffle. In three, two, and one. Walk it in, wow. Wipe up your sweat if needed. We go immediately side to side, add the punch. So if you travel left, you punch right, travel right, punch left. In about five seconds, we'll hold. We'll punch eight one way, eight the other. Hold here. Now punch for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, other side for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Switch and maintain that tempo. Next up, we'll start with the left side. Reverse lunge, knee in, reverse lunge, front kick. In three, two, one. Set first, ground with this left foot. Right foot goes back, right knee goes in, right foot goes back, kick. Right foot back, knee in, then kick. Take this slow, take this controlled. Once you have it, then start to increase the tempo if you're feeling up to it. Can you be reps and then we take it to the other side. Stay with me. 
Last three. Two and one, shake it out, other side. We have hops next. A few more reps. Hop it out. In three, two, and one. All right, hop. Just like we're doing a jump rope, but I want you to have a little pause at the top on the toes. So there's no air time. We're just kind of a little hop, hop, hop. I want you to get that down first, and then we're gonna add some movement. 10 more seconds, and then those knees come in. You can always stay right here, knee in, and three, two, one. Stay right here. If, if you want to progress, we add the twist. First, just tap. Then you can take the arms up. Also think of this movement as a little one to a quarter calf raise, but just with a sped up tempo. So your calves, it's a little sneaky on them. They will start to burn here pretty soon, if not already. Now you can stay right here. Next up, final hop exercise will be with a punch. So you can extend the arm and have fun with it. Seconds. And then we hit our final two exercises of the day. This is what we're doing for fun. This is what we're doing to better ourselves. So you got this, you are here. That is awesome. That is what matters most. Now let's put in the work for the final two minutes coming up. I'm out of breath. Wow, <laughs> wow, stay with me. Next up, alternating squat with the reach. Follow my lead. Wow, take it down to the bottom, reach up and rotate. Down, reach and rotate. Take it slow to start. Once you have it, increase that tempo. Oh, my God. 
This is where we dig deep. Final 60 seconds. Bilateral squat to reach both arms. Go down, reach up. Heels down, heels up. Ask yourself, are you pushing it as much as you can? If you are, stay right here. For an extra challenge, we increase the tempo, final 30. Here we go, final 15 second burnout at the bottom. In three, two, one, hold heels up, and we pulse 15 seconds. Final five, four, three, two, one. Really, shake it out. Wow, wow. Let's stretch. I usually don't say just come to the ground, but just come to the ground. Oh, wow. Grab your drink. I hope you did better than I did and brought one with you. Wow, okay. Keep one leg out and we're just gonna reach it up and over. Nice. Try to reclaim your breath during this cool down. I know that heart. Heart rate is up right now. Mine is, wow. Wow, I hate telling you guys what I get because I'm talking during the workout and my heart rate is naturally high. And then, you know, sex, your age, your weight, um, and then just your your heart rate, your, your normal heart rate, which is different for everyone, will also play a factor in how many calories you burn. Anyway, I don't tell you a lot. It says 268 active. 307 total, which really I was just, I mean, this is great. These aren't always, you know, the end all be all. They're not always accurate. If you've ever, you know, used one and then it doesn't pick up for about 20 minutes, that's always great. Extend both legs. And then we're just going to take it to the side, getting a nice stretch along the hamstring, just hold. Anyway, juice, juice it's going up because my heart rate is still at 156. It got up to 182 when I looked and that's why I went, wow. I uh, haven't pushed myself in cardio in that much in quite a while, so that was fun. Any sort of movement throughout the day, so the more you just move in general, like go for your little walks throughout your day around the house, around the office, that's gonna be very beneficial for you as well. But so is this. So really nice work today. When you're ready, wow, rotate to one side. My hands, um, I started to slip. Uh, during that push up to down dog reach. It was like, oh wow, I'm, uh, I wasn't planning on my mat getting this drenched. So if that happens to you, you can always just not add that reach. Um, just do a plank, plank push up to down dog. And of course you saw me look at you kind of like a few times like that because I messed up. But you know, it's not messing up. You know, I forgot to bring a knee and I kicked twice or something like that, but as long as we're moving, that's really what matters. I just wanted to look at you. Whenever I look at you like, like that, it's like, oh, I kind of missed a, missed a step there. But it's no big deal. It really isn't a big deal. Wow, wow, let's get a nice little puppy stretch. Let's use our, our bench here and just feel a nice stretch. I got a little crack. <laughs> that was fun. And when you're ready, y'all, bring it on up. As long as you tried your best, that is all that matters. I am now drenched. Low impact does not mean low intensity. We did start with a dynamic warm up. It wasn't, you know, uh, it was just meant to prepare your body for what is to come during this workout. So it did build, as, as you can tell. Um, anyway, as long as you tried your best, that's what matters most. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Your love and support means the world. Tag me in your posts and stories on IG at Laurie Midkiff. Y'all, this awesome mat. The Yo Gorilla mats, there's a link in my profile below. And then all the Amazon products that I use are listed 
as well. Anyway, y'all rock. Keep up the great work and have an amazing rest of the day.